So we're up on the second floor taking a look at a um, replacing an air conditioner and coil. So as you can see, we're standing above finished space, carpeted, so we'll need to bring, bring plenty of floor runners, tarps. Um, the garage, there's a garage below us. So we're looking at, um, so it's a two ton air conditioner and coil. We've got a slab coil. The reason we have a slab coil is so we could fit the humidifier, uh, powered humidifier on the supply duct. So we're gonna need to go back with the slab coil. Um, so we've got our existing pan here uh, with a float switch. So we'll probably look at just, as you can see how much this pan is sloped. That float switch is never gonna get tripped if there's water in this pan. Uh, so we're going to look at going back with, we're just going to put a wet switch in the pan and put a wet switch where the water will actually go. Um, <clears throat> but uh, uh, we had a new roof put on last year, so our refrigerant lines uh, actually got a nail through them. So we're going to be replacing the refrigerant lines. Uh, we're going to bring a 50 foot section, three quarter inch outer diameter uh, for the two ton unit. So we've got uh, our refrigerant lines, they run up here, run across our ceiling, and then they 90 here and run down. And I'll show up there uh, what it looks like. They come over here into this space, so you can see where they come down right there. So they, they hug right on the inside edge of this uh, uh, roof joist right here and come down. So we wanna take our 50 foot section, however far we can get with the 50 foot section. Brian Jones, uh, when he was out here, he said he could hear the leak. When he pressure tested this with nitrogen, he could hear the leak somewhere right in this section, uh, which makes sense given uh, up there, the roofer couldn't have hit the refrigerant lines, but here it's probably potentially nestled right up against the roof before it goes up into um, the space of the attic that we can access. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like up here. So our refrigerant lines again, so when I got over there, you can see them, they're crossing over, they come up uh, back over there. The only way to get there, because we've got our uh, plumbing vent right here through the middle is around this side. Um, it's not gonna be the most fun getting back there, but we gotta replace from there. So however far we can get with this 50 foot section, so it comes across, comes over, you can see right here. So I'd imagine we're gonna get somewhere in this section with our 50 foot, maybe potentially down into the area that I showed over there, where it comes down and then it goes down the wall to the other video where the condensing unit is sitting outside. Um, that's it.